once Gazans leave Gaza, Netanyahu is never going to let them back in. Maybe, but I'm not sure there's much left of Gaza at this point. In Gaza's waterfront property, it could be uh, very valuable. It's a little bit of an unfortunate situation there, but I think from Israel's perspective, I would do my best to move the people out and then clean it up. This is uh, the quiet part out loud. The, this is this what is widely thing. understood, but not supposed to be said out loud, Jared. Like the flesh of the children that he wants to build his luxury developments on hasn't even fully decomposed off of the bones. I just wanted to really quickly read this paragraph that I saw the other day, just to give people a sense of what the construction of these kinds of cities um, and the development on Palestinian land really looks like. Tel Aviv serves as a coordinating point in a globally integrated imperial project. The money generated from the purchase of settlement feta cheese in Marina del Rey Costco helps to finance the dispossession ma machines of the Jordan Valley, where the Israeli dairy, dairy conglomerate Tanuva operates a food processing plant. Former Israeli soldiers recruited into New York private equity firms make tax-deductible contributions to the 501c3 designated charitable nonprofit Friends of the Israeli Defense Forces to support the army that protects their second homes. Laundered billions stream in from Zionist mining extraction in Guinea and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, where the mineral magnates flee to Israel to avoid international sanctions. This is the story of all colonialisms. Settlers build their tall, shiny things on the members of the societies they torch, enlist the dispossessed into the production and maintenance, export the spoils, and bury their guilt in their families, splaying out on terraces, declaring themselves home at last. Just and to so give on. credit really quickly, it, the piece is called Hating It Lush on Tel Aviv by Kaleem Hawa.